absolute tripe. That's right, friends. It's your man Z, and I'm here to talk to you about Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And that's right, you heard it from me here first. This will be spoilers, but it's absolute garbage, just tripe. And it suffers from what I would say is the biggest sin in anything in, in entertainment or even the Marvel Universe. It's boring. The stakes are incredibly low, nothing really happens and it's kind of preachy so what i want to do is break down a little bit of this for the spoilers give you a little bit of an idea of what i felt and why i felt this show is broken and i think it suffered from being a broken show because it seems like there was a plot line cut out of this now there are rumors going around that there was a pandemic plot line that would have raised the stakes maybe there was some kind of virus that would destroy the earth they felt that that was too soon too close to home so they cut it at the absolute it just it did make it it made the show the pacing was terrible it seems like a lot of stuff that should have been left on the cutting room floor was put back in who knows what ended up happening but i'm gonna go down through each character a little bit and just break down what i liked it didn't like and how things looked from my perspective here We start with Falcon and Winter Soldier themselves. They're the stars of the show and the least interesting characters. Somehow WandaVision made Wanda and Vision more interesting, yet somehow there's no growth really from either of these characters. At the end of Endgame, Sam is given the shield by Captain America. A conversation with Captain America probably would have helped him decide that it would be good for him to be Captain America again or, or take up the mantle, if so be it. But Falcon already is one of the original OG Avengers. There's no reason for him to become Captain America. He's already Falcon, one of the most famous people on Earth, including, you know, and this is where it's some of the problems stem from. You know, he can't get a loan, yet the man is literally one of the most famous people on Earth and could clearly just call up Pepper Potts and he would be fine and she would pay for anything that he possibly needed. You know, the man did just say, help save the universe. You know, they also talk about the shield as if it's some sort of, you know, famous monument to something. The shield was buried for 60 years in the ice with Captain America. Who cares about the shield? Like the shield doesn't mean anything. Falcon doesn't have to change his identity or become anything different than what he already is, which is a world famous superhero. He's not gonna take the super serum and get any different. I thought there's a really interesting plot line going there with Bucky, where Bucky is trying to fix the things that he did wrong back in the day. I thought they could have gone a lot of places with that, but that was a forgotten storyline that they basically just threw away to, to move on to other things. We talk about the Flag Smashers. What a bunch of boring villains. Unclear motivations. How are they going to accomplish their goals? Nobody knows except for they're just going to blow up things. What are their goals? What are they trying to do? They don't really have a clear identity, a clear anything. And, you know, they have this teenage girl who's supposed to run this this villain group. I was under the impression that when you took Super Serum, you got jacked because that's what happened to Steve Rogers. Little tiny guy turns into big strong guy. None of these were all tiny wimps who get turned into super soldiers. What is going on here? Why is this a thing? Uh, Then your two most interesting characters, who is uh, John Walker and and Zemo, relegated to nothing. Zemo has a great great line and has a a great moment in there where he talks about how he is... Sokovia, after the Avengers left, is now nothing. There's nothing left of it. It got swallowed up by its by its opponents and you know what are what's left of this country except for a memorial nothing they don't talk about it you could have spent a little bit more time on it eh nobody cares Zemo's in for about two episodes when you're when the best part of your show or the most famous part of your show is Baron Zemo in a two second thing dancing and they repeat it for an hour and that's the most talked about thing you got a real problem Marvel there's a real issue with this show Uh, We talk about John Walker had the most interesting plot line, but is he a bad guy? Is he a good guy? I don't know. Do you know? Because 
they act like he's a, a really cool like he's a, this war hero he's got you know he's clearly got a friend who's dedicated to him who's his partner and then they're like no he's a bad guy he's you know only been given permission by the u.s government to retrieve these terrorists they give him a gun they tell him he's got to go retrieve them and then when everybody's fighting to stop him from bringing them to justice they did murder people they were terrorists they were burning people alive don't know why anybody should be sympathetic to these these people doesn't make any sense to me how is it possible that you have you know i go back to falcon they, this guy gets no respect no one recognizes him he's literally one of the last avengers and one of the most famous people on earth don't understand why that's a thing you know the, those two were funny and had chemistry in the movies what happened why is there no chemistry between them it was just a lot of dead eye staring from from bucky and you know sam just they, i don't understand where that chemistry went just dis disappeared i don't know sharon carter completely useless 100 percent. why was she even in it they claim she has an arc so you're telling me you know the granddaughter of of one of the most patriotic people in the world and you know sharon carter <laughs> and she ends up you know spoiler being the power broker again why do i care don't care doesn't matter and then you have they tease this great great amazing wow you guys are gonna be blown away with this uh with this uh cameo an amazing cameo and julia louise dreyfus shows up and does nothing and adds nothing to the story maybe they're teasing uh u.s agent being the head of something else doesn't make any sense because then you literally a couple days later have your actor who plays john walker be like i don't know if i'm part of the rest of the mcu i don't know if i'm coming back for anything else why would you do that why would you set this guy up with a character who's unknown we, we, we don't know who, who um you know who julia louise dreyfus is playing only hardcore comic people are going to know who that is and then she adds absolutely nothing to the story i don't know what she did for him you know why he why there's so many whys why does he make a crappy shield out of sheet metal like what were you supposed to be that was a teaser at the end of one of the other episodes really we're supposed to be like we're supposed to be excited by the fact that he's building his own shield in his backyard with sheet metal come on uh what else bothered me there was a, a part uh, the, the pacing was just absolutely dreadful and this will be my final point on this because it was frankly just a waste of everyone's time because nothing changed you know falcon's still falcon except for now he's captain falcon captain america he didn't change but, but the whole show was just built up upon a broken premise that just doesn't make any sense this is a netflix level of show this is basically the defenders the weakest thing i've ever seen put out by marvel i just i don't understand why this 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 came out this way i, w I wasn't super excited to see it before then but you know, why is there a training montage like they're showing this right now where he has to learn how to use the shield although he was literally playing catch with bucky throwing the shield just fine and they're they're playing catch with it and then all of a sudden he's gonna beat up super soldiers with what he's not a super soldier not to mention falcon in the very very first scene is killing people and i was pretty sure he was a rescue medic that doesn't seem like his deal you know is he working for the government is he not working for the government he claims he's not making any money yet he's on a mission in a working with the u.s government to go blow up guys on helicopters and stuff i don't know disappointed marvel you got to do better you got to get better you know i liked wanda wandavision but i think wandavision set us up with too many fan speculations and too many setups that didn't pay off people came into this with higher expectations and then they just got this this nonsense poorly paced poorly directed there's one action sequence per episode just disappointing not a big fan uh, I hate to say, you know, this is probably the worst thing Marvel's ever put out. And that doesn't even include the fact that, you know, Falcon gives a five minute speech at the end of the longest monologue I've ever heard in a Marvel movie where he's preaching at a bunch of people. They ask him hard questions and he's just like, you got to do better. Well, guess what, Marvel? You got to do better. Get better writers. Take some of that nonsense out of the shows. Make it more action focused. And, you know, don't be scared. Don't be scared just because you had a plot line that might scare people. 
you could do better than this. So uh, that's all I have here. Uh, make sure to catch us. We have live streams Friday night, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. Be sure to sign up for our full-length podcast as well on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those other fancy places. And look for more videos here from Our Reviews Will Kill You as we do our rants, news, reviews, and all other good stuff. So that's all from me here today at the Work You Studios. And I'll see you on the next one. On to the next one.